Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am sharing another card where I'm using my pencils to color in my image. Uh, this time I am using the Stratmore Bristol Vellum paper. As I said in my previous video, this was a paper that I ordered and hadn't tested out yet. So I'm testing this with you. This is my first card created with this paper uh, and pencils. And it was also requested by you guys uh, to show um, the coloring on white paper, which of course helps you because you don't have to layer a white. Yeah, you don't need to start with white on the on the paper. Um, also, this is not smooth. Um, the Desert Storm from Nina is, um, and. You can definitely layer lots and lots of more color on top of this kind of paper than on smooth. Um, which I like less is that, as you can see here while I'm coloring, you can still see those white nerves from the paper because it isn't smooth. Another thing what you also see is that I'm starting with really strange colors to color in this bunny. And this bunny, by the way, is from Mama Elephant, from the Pig's Favorites. Uh, yeah, for the coloring of this bunny, and especially the skin of the bunny, um, I let myself be guided by a video on YouTube about skin tones. I am listing all the colors down below, and in the beginning of each specific uh, type of... Uh, yeah piece of the bunny that I'm coloring, like the skin, the dress, I am listing it for a few seconds on top of this video. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm layering really strange colors and I know that, but I saw it and it should be working and I am actually really happy uh, with the end result. Of course, I was afraid in the beginning, starting with purple for a skin tone is strange. But you can do it and I really wanted to show it because there are also a lot of browns inside this box that I've got and it's easy to take four different browns and just layer with those. Um, but I really wanted to go out of my comfort zone. Um, we're all testing out other ways of coloring and um, I really wanted to test this out. So it happened and I like it. <laughs> So in the future you might see also some strange combinations to get some skin tones because there are lots and lots of ways to create a skin tone. Okay, and now the paper itself. If I have to choose between uh, all the papers that I tried out with a bit of green as they say, um, I must admit this is my favorite. I don't know why exactly, um, but so far I really like Stratmore Bristol. It's the same with uh, coloring with my zigs as well as with my distressings. I like to use the smooth one. And apparently I like to use the vellum one for coloring with pencils. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're looking for a white paper, I would recommend this one and there are also more expensive papers uh, I tried the hot press from Arches um, but I like this one more so budget wise yes um, and then uh, for European um, crafters uh, I bought this one on Amazon uh, from Germany um, it came through mail with a bit of rough edges because it wasn't really packed that well. Um, but good news, there is a shop that is going to um, supply it, but they are still waiting on some deliveries. Uh, but they are hoping to get it in their shop in the yeah, like mid August. Uh, hopefully, uh, and that is the new Belgium webshop Card Nouveau dot be, uh, and they supply to all different countries. So I really like the shop. Uh, I wasn't asked to say this, 
<laughs> I'm excited and I think uh, the small shops sh should get some credit more um, just because we can um, yeah so that's why I'm saying it already um, as soon as they have it in their web shop and when I'm making a new uh, card with pencils after they have it in store I will definitely say it to you um, you yeah so that you are up to date with that um, but that's coming so maybe a bit more easy to get your hands on but of course if you have Amazon and stuff you can get these papers and in America I think there is no issue but maybe I'm wrong I don't live there so <laughs> I just keep adding layers and layers you can see this uh, in the end I told you in the previous video that you can use different ways or different products to smoothen your images even more there is um, turpentine there is gamzol uh, I also got some messages where people said that you could use baby oil so you don't necessarily have to buy anything um, you probably will have one of these products in your house already multiple options I am go going to use some turpentine at the end of the coloring to let you see a bit of the smoothing is just to cover those uh, white areas a bit more um, it's not really drastic uh, with turpentine in my opinion uh, so yeah what you can also do to get rid of those white areas is to press a bit harder make sure that your pencil is sharpened and just go inside of those grooves um, and yeah that, that can work also um, So now I am onto the dress as well as the bow. It will be blue. And I'm just I am flipping my paper. I'm not used to coloring in one specific way yet. Uh, I I learned it to myself with Copics because it's easier I think for you guys that I'm not shifting my papers everywhere. Um, but for the coloring with pencils I still need to turn my papers around. So yeah coloring almost done maybe I can put a little bit of music on still and after the coloring I will be back Everything is colored in right now and I'm going to use this turpentine to help smoothen everything. Therefore I'm taking my paintbrush, um, number zero, 
and I'm also taking a paper cloth to help me dab off um, the excess of the turpentine and I did zoom out and I hope that it is not bothering you um, but I think you can see that there is less of the white on my image So I'm just going over everything. I'm trying to start each time on the lighter areas so that I don't necessarily drag any of the darker areas towards the lighter ones. Um, that's how I do it. There probably will be more ways to do it, but this works for me. And then as soon as this is finished, I can add the eyes to my bunny. So you didn't see me stamp out this image. It was to save time. Uh, but I kept my stamp inside of my Misty uh, to help me get those eyes in the right places in a bit. So now onto the eyes, I can just place my panel inside of my Misty and it will be on the exact same, same spot as I stamped it out originally. And now I am using my purple tape to mask everything off except for the eyes. And I didn't stamp out the nose from this little bunny because I was thinking I didn't need it. Uh, but then afterwards I am just going to color it in with a bit of white to just soften the color of the nose and it will be visible as well. Um, but for now I was thinking of only adding the eyes. So I did that using some Gina K Design Amalgam Ink. And it's not there like really crisp but I can go over it with my micron and just darken the eyes and this way it will work as well. So for the sentiment I am taking one out of the same stamp set being the thank you. And then I'm also adding the for everything.
with everything colored in and stamped out I decided that I wanted to add some shadow at my bunny uh, as well as some grounding so I am going in with a grey pencil and I am adding a bit on the edges of the bunny on the right side because when I looked at my image I saw that my shadows were most of the time in the right so that means sort of that the sun is coming from the left and I wanted to go with that as well for the shadowing um, I'm not really good with shadowing and um, it's actually I just do what I think that will <laughs> look cute or yeah just like that um, but I also saw and if you haven't seen it yet um, I should really recommend it uh, but probably you saw it as well uh, Christina Werner shared a video where she did some shadow techniques first and then she started coloring her image it was watercoloring uh, no pencil um, but that's something that I really want to try out um, so I think that for my next video with pencils because um, you can really add lots and lots more layers um, than with gold picks because of saturation and stuff um, so I think I will try that out next time first doing some shadowing and then uh, bring it to my paper if I succeed with that I will share my shadow technique on my blog with a photo I think uh, but that's that's future <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a bit ahead of everything um, but that's that's the plan um, and I am going to try to yeah do some more coloring with pencils to get to know them better to learn more about it to maybe get some tips and tricks for you guys if you want to try it out always handy um, so yeah you can expect that but I'm not going to fill my whole channel with only pencils of course I will try to vary a bit um, what I also wanted to say is that I finished my blog post of all the cards I created without filming as I promised in the previous video with pencils I am going to upload them so you will see a lot of pencil cards on my Instagram this week as well as on my blog so if you are wondering um, but my favorite paper for now is this one it's truly wonderful so the Stratmore Bristol Vellum and if you want a smoother paper I would really recommend the Desert Storm, of course, it's not white, uh, but you can get some beautiful results with it as well. Uh, so yeah, this is my card. I finished it with some hearts, but kept it really simple at the same time. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you uh, got some tips and maybe want to try this one out as well. If you have any questions, you can always leave them down below and I hope that I will see you next time again. Bye!